I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will find highest common factor by Euclid's division lemma. We will take three numbers to practice in this particular video. So the question here is find highest common factor of 45, 60 and 75. The idea is begin with the smaller numbers first. So 45 and 60 are the smaller numbers. So we'll perform this division method using the smaller numbers 60 and 45. So we'll divide 60 by 45. 60 becomes the dividend and 45 is the divisor, right? Now 45 can go one time in 60, giving us a remainder of, let me use a different ink here, giving us a remainder of 15 right now that is the remainder we have to divide this previous divisor by the remainder okay so we'll divide now 15 into 45 or 45 by 15 right so that goes three times 15 times 3 is 45 the remainder is 0 that means that the highest common factor we can write highest common factor between 45 and 60 is 15 right so we know that but we want to find between these three numbers correct so now we'll take up this highest common factor and divide that into 75 right so we'll try to find now the highest common factor between 15 and 75 dividing 75 by 15 uh, we could try five times right for five times is how much five times five is 25 and we get 75 the remainder is zero so if the remainder is zero then 15 is the highest common factor with 75 also so we get highest common factor between the previous two numbers which is 45 60 and this number 75 as 15 do you see that so that is how we can do this repeated division in which we divide the previous divisor by the remainder and this process is followed till the remainder is zero perfect Let's do one more practice question with three numbers. So this time we have to find the highest common factor of 120, 48 and 72. It's better to begin with the smaller numbers, right? So let's do uh, the division with 72 and 48. 72 is the dividend, divisor is 48. So it goes one times 48. What is the remainder? Definitely it is not 0. So whatever it is, let's write down. 12 take away 8 is 4. 6 take away 4 is 2. So we get 24 as a remainder. This remainder divides into 48, right? This divides into 48. So that is the process. Whatever remainder you get, divide the previous divisor by that remainder. 24 times 2 is 48. So 0 is the remainder. Once you get 0 as a remainder, then previous divisor is the highest common factor, right? So we have highest common factor between the numbers 48 and 72, 72 as 24, right? As 24. We need to find whether 24 is also a common factor of 120. That is the key. So now let's divide 120 by 24 right so we'll divide 120 by 24 24 times 5 let's check because we could do 6 times okay 6 times 4 is 24 that doesn't go 5 let's try so 24 times 5 5 times 4 is 20 0 2 and 5 times 2 is 10 120 giving us a remainder of 0 that means 24 is a factor of 120 also and therefore now we have got highest common factor between these three numbers which are 120 48 and 72 as 24 right so you get it so with the help of this method in couple of steps 
we can find the highest common factor. It's a very effective method and I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to post questions and thanks for watching my videos. Thank you and all the best.